So I just want to do a quick overview of competitor analysis because we didn't really get enough time in the lecture during week three to provide a bit of an overview of how we might understand competitors. And of course, from a strategic perspective, understanding our competitors is a critical part of coming up with an effective market strategy. So competitor analysis is really the process of understanding who our competitors are and what their competitive strategies are likely to be. So any organisation looking at entering into a market or competing in an existing market needs to have a really good understanding about who the competitors actually are. Um, and that's not always easy because um, there are the direct or immediate competitors, the people are in the industry now, but there are also competitors who might come into the industry in the future. And it's a little bit more difficult to understand who these future competitors are. And yet they might pose the greatest competitive threat. You know, as history will show us, companies like Sony and Apple pose the greatest competitive threat to um, Kodak. You know, yet Kodak probably didn't see these as being major competitors for their organisation. So competitor analysis helps us to gather information and data that provides um, understanding of things about our competitors, such as their future objectives. What is it that our competitors are trying to achieve? What are their objectives? Where do they want to be in the future? It gives us an understanding about their current strategy and what their future strategy might look like. It gives us a bit of an understanding about their beliefs about the industry. You know, what do our competitors think is likely to happen in the coming competitive cycle? And tells us a lot about the strengths and weaknesses of our competitors. Now, competitor analysis is um, undertaken and based on many different types of data and information. Uh, this data can come from analysing their websites, um, looking at their competitive data over time, thinking about how the organisations have competed in the past and the sort of um, competitive strategies they've actually used. And if you've been competing with an organisation over an extended period of time, you really start to get a very good handle about what their competitive actions are likely to be. So if you think about Coles and Woolworths, for example, in the Australian retail landscape, these two firms have been competing against each other for decades and they really do have a quite detailed understanding of the likely um, strategies and responses that each of the other organisations is going to take. Now we do have to be mindful of the ethical and legal issues around gathering information on our competitors. Um, being mindful that we shouldn't break the law and that corporate espionage is not a good thing, it's, you know, it's an illegal activity. So we're trying to do what we can do legally within the confines of that legal, constri um, legal constraint but still get a detailed picture about what our competitor is actually doing. So when we think about um, competition, we need to be really clear about understanding who the competitors are and distinguishing them from complementers. So complementers are um, companies that sell complementary products or services that are compatible with our own. So they work with us and support us in what we're trying to do. So for example, in the aviation industry, Singapore Airlines and Virgin are complementers, they're not competitors. Singapore Airlines doesn't actually operate a domestic aviation route within Australia. They use um, Virgin Australia as the um, local supplier of that service. And so the two organisations work together to provide aviation services into and around Australia. A competitor, on the other hand, is a company that is selling competing goods um, who are trying to target the same group of customers as your organisation and are trying to attract that customer away from your business and lock them into your organisation. So what are we looking at when we look at competitor analysis? This figure here, figure 2.3, which comes out of your textbook, is quite a handy figure for understanding how we organ uh, analyse a competitor. And it tells us the sorts of questions that we need to ask about any competitor for our business. So for example, in terms of future objectives, you know, how do our goals compare with our competitors' goals? Are we both trying to achieve the same sorts of strategic outcomes? Or are we looking to move in different directions? We need to understand what our competitors' and, um, attitude towards risk is. If they have a lower um, negative attitude toward risk, they're more likely to engage in strategic actions that are 
um, high risk and will be highly dangerous to our organisation. We need to understand our competitors' current strategies. Um, how are they currently competing? What sorts of competitive actions do they take in the marketplace? And what do they tell us about what strategies they're trying to pursue? We need to understand the assumptions that those competitors face and have about the industry in which we're operating. And so it's very important, again, to understand a bit about um, you know, how they see the future. What direction are they trying to take their organisation? Are they looking to move into new industries or new markets? We need to be really clear about the strengths and weaknesses of our competitors. You know, again, the sporting metaphor is really important here. Understanding what our competitors do well and what they do not so well gives us insights into the types of strategies we should develop, but also tells us a little bit about how we should avoid competing with these organisations. And most importantly, I think, from competitor analysis, and the thing that gets overlooked all the time, is a detailed analysis and understanding of what our competitors' likely strategic responses are going to be. Remember that when we enact a strategy, our competitors are also going to enact a strategy in response to that. And so we need to get a bit of a sense of how they compete. What is the basis of their competitive actions in the market? How um, do we think they'll respond to any competitive change that we might take as an organisation? So again, when you're doing your case analysis, it's really important that you have a good understanding about the competitors, that you clearly identify who your competitors are and identify what their relative strengths and weaknesses might be. 